Hi everyone, Keith here. Hey, I got something I want to go over with everybody again. Always as usual. Um, we're looking at uh, Black's fourth page 773. Again, one of my preferred references just because that's what they use in their courts. So you understand the words they're using against you. Um, the word we're looking at today is force. And here in Black's Law, it says, power dynamically considered, that is, in motion or in action, constraining power, compulsion, strength directed to an end. Usually, the word occurs in such connections as to show that unlawful or wrongful action is meant. That's in their own words. Um, unlawful violence. It is either simple as entering upon another's possession without doing any other unlawful act or compound when some other violence is committed, which of itself alone is criminal or implied as in every trespass, rascals or disicing. Um, it says it may mean either exact pressure times exact area to which the pressure is applied or it may mean simply an operative physical power without taking account of the exact quantity applied. And that one there, they're talking about mathematical terms in, as in re reference to uh, um, physical force, inertia, um, hydraulics, things like that. Um, such display of physical power as is reasonably calculated to inspire fear of physical harm to those opposing possession of premises by trespasser. I'm going to read that again nice and slow. Such display of physical power as is reasonably calculated to inspire fear of physical harm to those opposing possession of premises by trespasser. In other words, anytime somebody approaches you with a gun and uses their unlawful, legal, authority to impose force you should be in fear um, terms violence and force are synonymous when in used in relation to assault and then it says power statically considered that is at rest or latent but capable of being called into activity upon occasion for its ex exercise um, the efficacy is the, the legal validity. This is the meaning when we say that a statute or a contract is in force. Um, then it says in Old English law, a technical term applied to a species of accessory before the fact. Technical term applied to a species of accessory before the fact. That's what I was talking about when an officer walks up to you, he's got pepper uh, pepper spray, mace, uh, taser, a, a, a canine, and a gun, and a baton, and all these weapons. Those are the species of accessories before the fact. Force and fear is also listed on page 774, and this is the one I want to talk about. Um, In regards to uh, the first one that we lo looked at, um, excuse me, the second one, unlawful violence. And what it says here is force and fear, called also vimetik. Um, that's just another foreign language they like using to confuse you. means that any contract or act extorted under the pressure of force or under the influence of fear is voidable on that ground provided of course that the force or the fear was such as influenced by the party so again we're looking at um, being able to void these traffic tickets and things like that unless you're a citizen if you're a citizen you're already wrapped up in it but if you're like me, you don't claim citizenship of anything. I've never once taken an oath of citizenship to the state. I've never once taken an oath of citizenship to the nation. Um, anything. 
I am simply a man that was born on this land and I have inherent rights per my religious beliefs that I can breathe and live as I want as long as I don't interfere with the rights of others. And when it comes to um, force and fear, I don't put any force or fear in, into every, anybody else. If they think I'm forcing them, if you think I'm forcing you to listen to this stuff, hey, you're the one that clicked the button. All I'm doing is putting it out there. But when an officer pulls you over, and he's got these flashy lights declaring an emergency, duh, red flag, there's no emergency. There's no emergency at all. What he's doing is putting fear in you right away. Emergency, emergency, oh! That's exactly what it is. Called also, the matik means that any contract or act extorted under the pressure of force or under the influence of fear is voidable on that ground. Provided, of course, that the force or the fear was such as influenced by the, or such as influenced the party. In other words, when they pull the, pull you over and they turn on them red flashy lights, you pull over because of the influence of those red flashy lights. It's voidable, unless you're a citizen. Quit signing your name. Anyway, I love y'all. That's all I got. God bless.